G'day, my name's Phil O'Brien and I've lived most of my life in the Northern Territory and uh, I couldn't really imagine living anywhere else, just a unique place to live. You know, at times I felt like I was just living in the middle of a David Attenborough documentary. Most of my family uh, come from Central Australia, so that's where I, I probably spent the first 10 or 15 years of my working life, but then I got a job one day on the coast in northeast Arnhem Land on the Gove Peninsula at a crocodile farm. Bang, all of a sudden, uh, my world just opened up. I was like born again. I went through like an epiphany. I was on the coast, I was by the sea. I couldn't believe it. It was a dream come true. And the Aboriginal people that live there, their knowledge of that area, the spirituality, the, their understanding of the balance you need in nature to keep things perfect. So then I wanted to immerse myself even further. So I left crocodile farming and uh, I got a job on a mackerel fishing boat. Very sustainable the way we did it because we never caught much. And uh, then I went into pearl farming. Uh, the beautiful clean water, Arnhem Land, full of nutrients, clean. Just the perfect environment for that industry. Now my life has become a lot richer from working in these industries. But to keep these industries alive and well for the future, for the future generations and for the economy, our coastline has to be kept healthy and clean. Some of those pristine beaches in Arnhem Land, you could go 20 or 30 kilometers. You would not even find a footprint. Now those same beaches, there's piles of plastic junk and uh, ghost nets. Now that the ocean currents are bringing all that rubbish to our beautiful pristine Arnhem Land coast and just dumping it there. It's the people using the ocean as a garbage tip. That's the problem. It's up to this generation, our generation, to make a stand and keep our coastal environment clean and healthy. It's up to us. We can't pass the buck. We can't handball it. There's, there's nowhere else to go. It's up to this generation. From the, from the bloke fishing that just chucks his old line on the beach there on a couple of Woolies plastic bags that some turtle goes and chokes on later. All the way up to the politician making the laws. It's everyone's responsibility. We're all in it together and there's things we can do. We can support governments that put the environment as one of their priorities. You know, I had a dream once to work on the sea, on the coast, and uh, it came true. And uh, I want the next generation to be able to have that same dream and that same experience.